When it comes to intelligence, we human beings have declared ourselves as the most intelligent creature living on the planet. To some extent, the declaration or the self-proclamation that we are making is true because using our intelligence, we have created certain uh, structures, certain monuments which are marvelous in nature and we have taglined it as uh, the wonders of the world. This is possible only because of our intelligence. Similarly, at one point in time, we had a dream of going to the moon. With Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, even that dream has become a reality. In our evolution, we thought certain diseases cannot be cured. Now, using our intelligence, we even found cure for the diseases. And one of the most important thing or one of the most important replica of our uh, intelligence is our evolution from apes to human beings. This is all possible because the intelligence which we possess. On the flip side, we have also created memorials like these. And these are also the results of our human intelligence. We, are, we have invented machines, we have invented computers and we have discovered, discovered many systems and machines uh, and so on. Now we are making an attempt to make these systems or computers or devices that we have invented as intelligent as we are. This is, we are seeing these in the present world because the mobile phones that we are using on daily basis, it has become a, our uh, digital assistant. It has artificial intelligence in the form of Siri, Google Assistant, Cortana, Alexa, etc. All these development will create a question in our mind. When and where all these have begun? And what are the milestones that AI has crossed to reach the stage that it, that is at today. So that's what we are targeting in this video on artificial intelligence, history and milestones. When we speak about uh, artificial intelligence, the one machine that comes into our mind is a uh, computer. The evolution of computer and uh, the artificial intelligence is, uh, is interconnected. Uh, without computers, we cannot think about uh, artificial intelligence because computers are the first machine developed by human beings that is actually a replication of uh, human brain. So we know human brains uh, stores several information. Similarly, we wanted a machine that keeps and uh, stores uh, information or data for a particular period of time. So that's why computers are uh, developed. Uh, when it comes to AI, it is first conceptualized by a person named Alan Turing who is from the field of computer science and who is actually regarded as the father of computer science. Alan Turing is the same person who has provided an edge to the British in outwitting uh, German Nazis in several battles. He is the person who has braked the British, uh, sorry, the German communication system through Enigma code, which has provided uh, uh, an opportunity for British army to defeat uh, German Nazis in several battles. And the origins of AI can be seen in Turing's work in his paper on intelligent machines published in 1950. In that research work, he quotes, I quote, I propose to consider the question, can machines think? This is the question that has actually conceptualized artificial intelligence. At the same time, he also develops a test which is called as imitation uh, test. Now it is popularly known as Turing test which is even used now to verify whether a machine or system or computer is artificially intelligent or not. 
in spite of asking that pertinent question can machines think in his research paper computing machinery and intelligence published in 1950 alan turing is not given the credit of being the father of artificial intelligence it actually goes to the person who has coined the term artificial intelligence a stanford researcher john mccarthy john mccarthy after his graduation he joins dartmouth college he works for a some period of time in the college and in 1956 he organizes a workshop uh, which is popularly known as uh, the birthplace of artificial intelligence the dartmouth conference uh, in 1956 where he along with minsky and eight other researchers from us who are working in the area of autonomy theory neural nets and study of intelligence joins together and work for a period of two months uh, the, there is no substantial uh, contribution or result emanating from that uh, particular workshop but these 10 individuals who are later called as founding fathers of artificial intelligence they and their students who started to rule the world of artificial intelligence in the later years the contribution uh, uh, which has uh, received by artificial intelligence the field of artificial intelligence is largely by these 10 researchers and their students uh, despite of that uh, the real credit of naming as art father of artificial intelligence goes to john mccarthy because when we speak about artificial intelligence these are generally coded languages that are uh, put into a system or we can say algorithmic codes so to develop these languages uh, to develop these codes there are certain languages programming languages used by the scientist the languages are uh, python r lisp uh, prolog and java so out of all these one of the oldest uh, language is uh, lisp list programming which is actually designed by john mccarthy so that's why that could be the reason why we are calling john mccarthy as the father of artificial intelligence several years of research has gone into artificial intelligence to be specific 70 years of research has gone into artificial intelligence and that has shaped the way in which artificial intelligence is existing in its current form in this period of 70 years artificial intelligence has passed through several milestones out of these milestones i'll be discussing about uh, three milestones the uh, wherein in the first two milestones uh, who artificially built or artificially intelligent uh, machine has outsmarted uh, two of uh, their uh, human counterparts in a competition one first in the chess competition and later in a quiz the show and then about thirdly about uh, a chatbot that has uh, passed uh, turing's test speaking about the first competition which was a chess competition held in 1997 where uh, an ibm uh, developed uh, computer or a machine named as deep Blue has uh, uh, defeated the russian chess grandmaster gary kasparov in 1997 then in the year 2011 there was a quiz show called jeopardy uh, where uh, the competition was held among uh, the two human uh, uh, participants they are the previous winners of the same show ken and brad against an ibm developed uh, machine or a computer called ibm watson even in that show ibm watson has clearly outsmarted uh, the human uh, uh, competition competitors so uh, that's about uh, the ibm watson and then about a chatbot that has uh, passed the test of uh, imitation game developed by alan turing uh, the chatbot name is uh, eugene alan turing's in his uh, 1950s published work computing machinery and intelligence he states that if a machine could convince 30 percent of the judges that it is not a machine it is a human uh, being then that such machine can be declared as artificially intelligent on 7th june 2014 to mark the 60th death anniversary of alan turing there was a contest held in or organized in us in that contest eugene gustman the chatbot that we are discussing here uh, which is captioned as the weirdest creature uh, in the world is able to convince 33 percent of the judges that eugene is not 
a chatbot or a machine it is a human being so if you are considering uh, the proposition made by alan turing regarding 30 percent uh, of the judges if they are convinced uh, and uh, the machine can be declared as uh, artificially intelligent so since uh, eugene uh, could uh, convince 33 percent of the judges the host of the show warwick he declares eugene as a uh, artificially intelligence there are many people or many experts uh, they are not in favor of uh, that because uh, uh, if we see i have provided a message or a communication between the interrogator and eugene here in this video if you see that uh, conversation between eugene and scott the interrogator uh, you can see when uh, uh, scott uh, the interrogator asked the question about uh, uh, about uh, the tallest uh, 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 mountain in the world uh, Eugene is not giving a right answer. It is trying to uh, mix uh, humor there and uh, trying to uh, misdirect uh, the uh, uh, the interrogator. Like right? so, because of that, many have uh, argued against that that it is not artificially intelligent. Despite of that. Uh, uh, we still consider Eugene Guzman as uh, the chatbot that has uh, uh, passed uh, Alan Turing's uh, imitation uh, game. This is another major event in the history of uh, AI's development. Currently, we know the prominent place AI has taken in our life. Uh, the phones that we are using, it has uh, AIs that as, as I discussed earlier. Uh, we know this is just a beginning for the AI and it will uh, have uh, it and with it will uh, chart it will venture into several uh, uncharted territories and uh, field of uh, study so this is about uh, our discussion uh, today's discussion on uh, uh, history and uh, the milestones of uh, artificial intelligence thank you for watching the video if you like the video as i say always please subscribe to the channel and uh, give a thumbs up uh, for the video and uh, you can share uh, the video among your uh, friends as well so if you have any doubts you, uh, doubts you can uh, write in the comment section uh, so and uh, regarding uh, uh, the watson ibm watson uh, that contest quiz com uh, competition called jeopardy i provided a link in the description section you can click on the link and uh, watch that video and that uh, link is provided only for academic purpose and not for any promotional uh, purpose thank you